A good winning trader is defined by the portfolio of forex strategies known and applied in different situations. Considering that a single system is not enough to supply the right number of successful trades if you apply it all the time. A trader that doesn't have a strategy would be like trying to drive a car without any fuel. You can have the best education in the world but without a single strategy you would simply be a gambler. If you had to weigh up the options of being making decisions based on plain outright guessing or hoping and actually making calculated decisions that will promote mitigated losses and maximize profits, we all know which option would be the obvious for a positive outcome with a consistent background. Trading Forex profitably excludes gambling in its entirety, as it is and should be treated like a business. Running a business requires one or a set of strategies, and if executed with precision, can yield desired results time and time again. Welcome to Trading Forex Like a Business, with a set of cutting-edge strategies. Technical strategies help investors decide when to enter the market, and even more importantly, when to exit the market. The technical indicators can sometimes point out the end of a trend before it even shows up in the market. This helps the investor to hold on to profits and minimize their losses, or perhaps even extend profits further than they initially anticipated. Technical analysis can assist with making investment decisions. It's also good to help predict when breakouts and falls and channels and things like that may occur, so you can be ready for it to make sure you get as much of the trade as possible. We're going to have a look at some of the more common patterns. You don't need to stress too much about memorizing all of this now. You might want to just take a piece of paper and draw the basic shape out and keep an eye out for this sort of thing and come back to these notes. So let's have a look at the bullish reversal patterns first. The one in front of you now is called the inverted head and shoulders, which, as you might imagine, is just an upside down version of the head and shoulders. You'll see that it has to have a shoulder, a head which comes out further and then another shoulder which is generally in line with the other shoulder but definitely off from the, the level of the head. The breakout we can see here is upside through the neckline and the duration could take several months or even a year. These can be very long cycles that we are trading. The target is generally the distance from the top of the head to the neckline and you would try to target at least that much profit. This we like to call the bear channel breakout. The formation we see is we need to have falling tops and bottoms that would fit within a channel. The breakout occurs when it goes through the upper slope. Duration can persist until the breakout occurs and this could be days, weeks, months or very unlikely but possibly years. The target is the width of the two parallel lines. So when you see the breakout occur you would measure how far apart these two lines are and then set the distance from where the breakout happened plus that distance for your take profit. The double bottom is a very, very common one that we see um, fairly often. Basically, we have two troughs marked as A and B and an intermediate peak, which we've marked as C. The breakout occurs through the upper horizontal line through the intermediate peak, which we marked as C. It is preferred to have at least four weeks between the lows. So this is a longer term strategy again. It does let you chase big, big trades though. The target we go for for profit is the same as the distance from the two troughs, A and B, to the intermediate peak, C. So you would measure how many pips it is between the line A and B up to C, and then when it breaks through, you go to C and you mark the same level up for your take profit. Now we're going to have a look at bearish reversal patterns. You'll see that these are very similar to the, the bullish ones, just in the other direction. It makes more sense to learn the head and shoulders from this bearish reversal because it actually looks like somebody standing up. You can see we have the left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. The breakout occurs when the downside goes through the neckline. Duration could be a few weeks, uh, but typically shorter than an inverted head and shoulders pattern for some reason. And once again, the target is the distance from the top of the head down to the neckline. Now let's have a look at a bull channel breakout. The formation is when we come across rising tops and bottoms that form within a channel, so the opposite to the, the bearish channel breakout. And the breakout occurs when the price goes through the lower slope. It can persist until a breakout occurs, which once again could be hours, days, or weeks, months. And the target is the width of the two parallel lines. So you would measure how far across that is, and then set your target accordingly. 
And here we have the double top, which is two peaks that occur and we have a trough at C. The breakout occurs when the market goes downside through the trough at C. And the duration is typically one to three months. Sometimes it is less. We go for the target is the same as the other ones where we measure the distance between the two important price levels and then add that for the target.